But that, that shouldn't get past quality control. Yo, 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 what is up fam, Bad Milan. Welcome back to the channel. So this is Kicksball. This is where we talk about sneakers, lifestyle travel, and everything in between. And today we're gonna to be talking about these babies right here. So as you can see, I am reviewing the Nike Jordan 3 in the fossil in the orange fossil stone which is one of the colors i'm gonna be honest there's not much i could really talk about it because there's not like a really big uh story behind it but it's a pretty impressive sneaker all around but before i get to you i just want to say a few little gripes or a few little like uh opinions i have about it and also i just want to say i don't know if you guys can see these are the sneaker cases that i got from the sneaker laundry they do light up and uh they are drop front and they also have the side view as well so they're pretty impressive go check it out anyway continue with this review the lights going out this sneaker right here uh it would have been a lot more impressive to me but a few quality control issues have gone through undetected and uh, i just wanted to let you know that yeah like that all the jordans that you get not all of them turn out to be uh you know the highest quality paying like 290 australian dollars which is a lot of money uh, you kind of expect them to be at its best. So I just want to say all the bad stuff first and then we'll go <laughs> to all the good stuff. And mind you, these are just really small things. And even if you're like a meter away, you probably won't even see it. But because I bought them and uh, you know I can look at them like this close, like right next to my face, you can see kind of the, the defects that have come through. And the first one, I'll just show you guys. It's so small that I have to actually bring it up. Um, it's right here. Like the glue job that they have there, I don't know if you see that brown speck right there, right next to my fingernail. That is like a little brown speck that I can't get off with my finger. Like I tried to take it off, but it just stays there. It's like a glue mark that's brown. And I didn't like that. Also, on this side of the shoe, over here, I noticed that it's really hard to see, especially in this light. But there is like a blue, there's a blue mark there. Ah, oh, it's really hard to see on camera. Okay, the, the lights keep turning on and off. I gotta turn it off. Anyway, guys, so um, that light blue marks is sort of like with your like a blue pen on a piece of paper, and then you get your uh, your palm or whatever your finger like smudges that blue ink, and then you kind of tap on all on different parts of the paper, and you'll see that like little smudge. That's what is on this part here. It's really light, but to the to my naked eye, I could see it. And uh, I know it's just a little thing and being a little bit pedantic and all this stuff, but the biggest one, the third one, is probably this one. And I know you're going to definitely notice that one. Is that, can you see that streak there? There's a, one there and there's one a really light one right above it. But that, that shouldn't get past quality control. That's horrible, man. Kind of really disappointing, but um, that's just basically how it is. I mean, uh, I've had uh, my fair share of like kind of nightmare quality Jordans before and uh, especially a really really long time ago from Foot Locker I didn't even notice until I got home that uh, they were basically destroyed I, I don't know if I had the photos if I find the photo I'll upload it but um, yeah it, it uh, but what's good about it is you can always return it obviously if it's defected and you can get your money back anyways other than that, I still think they're a great make of a sneaker. Um, I've seen like a couple of other YouTubers already review these. Um, I mean, I was supposed to review these a really long time ago. So I'm really sorry, guys. But basically, uh, yeah, when I first got them, I was really excited about them. And then I got COVID and then all these other kind of priorities had to come up and I can only do it now, which is probably almost a month later. Anyway, guys, thanks for being patient. So basically, the best part about this is that you could see that the leather... This quality leather is what like Mr. Nightwing, uh, Mr. Wear Testers was saying that um, it's sort of like how they made it back in 1988, if I'm if not mistaken. All the upcoming pairs that come now, he always likes to compare it to those days, like the good old days, where they used to make some pretty well constructed and like high quality sneakers compared to what they do now. And uh, yeah, this is the one that he was saying, this is the kind of leather that they used to use back then. Or what, to, what it looks like anyway because if you compare it to some of the one like the retros that we have now like let's say this one you can see that there's a, a pretty big difference in terms of like the tumbled leather different so this tumbled leather as you can see there compared to 
this one. Other than these ones being a lot more like shiny and uh, more, it's got more of a gloss finish. These ones have a more of a matte finish on them, but this one looks a lot more spongy. I don't know, like it, it looks like it's more nicer to wear <laughs> for some reason. I don't know, but that's just my personal uh, opinion uh, compared to this one. And I'm not saying these aren't going to be nice to put on, but they just look flatter in terms of the um, the leather that they they put on it. And it's like it's two different leathers as well. So the tumbled leather that you get here is like probably different to the smooth one that you get down here. So yeah, it's like it's more of like a flattened leather compared to that one, which looks more of a tumbled cushy leather but uh, I'm not complaining uh, they still look really nice my favorite part about this sneaker is actually the brown the fossil the, the uh, brown elephant print on with the black it's uh you know it's it there's a lot of different colors going on with it I'll talk about that later but my favorite part is definitely the brown with the black you can see how they changed up the elephant print you can see the elephant print here uh, on these ones it's basically there's like the black lines in between how uh, Tinker designed them and these ones don't they don't it's just like a more natural way of looking at a like let's say elephant skin I don't know I kind of dig it this way uh, that one looks like it's all like <laughs> veiny and cracky whereas this one's like more like natural kind of thing I think I, I prefer these ones uh, a lot more compared to the the black cement so other people might complain about that but uh, I don't know it's just, uh, aesthetically to me the these kind of elephant prints look a lot, a lot better. I don't know, it just matches the shoe a lot better. It's like easier to wear. And um, yeah, it's not as uh, like, uh, I don't know, when I look at these ones, they look a little bit more polarizing, especially with the, the gray cement, uh, gray elephant print, I mean, is what I'm trying to say. And this one is just more like, a, you know, more minimal. And uh, that's what I just like about it, the, the brown and the black just look so well. And I'm gonna talk about the orange though, man. The orange parts on this sneaker, I do believe that it's kind of unnecessary. I believe that uh, they're trying probably Jordan Brad's probably just trying to like you know mix things up a bit and try to make things interesting by making uh, putting a lighter colored you know accent on the sneaker and all that kind of stuff and on the uh, the outsole as well. I mean, uh, I just really don't know if they should have done that. I would have preferred look because you can see here on this part of the eyelet, I would have preferred that one here. And then uh, you could leave the Jumpman orange for one, but just make these ones the same as that one. I don't know. That would have just been me, just trying to be a little bit more picky in terms of the colors and everything. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's still a, a great sneaker. You can notice that there's actually no white parts to this. It's actually uh, the midsole is in a light brown, like a really subtle light brown color. It's actually not white. So uh, that's kind of the aspects that I really like about it. It's got the Jumpman logo on the back, which is, you know, it, it, it's fine, but definitely if this had the Nike Air on the back, a lot more people would be hyped over it. Overall, it's still a great sneaker, and uh, something that you probably notice as well, that on the inside, it's got the, um, on the inside of the insole, it's got this kind of equation, which is the elephant Jumpman equals, uh, Michael Jordan, I guess, <laughs> and uh, that's what it looks like. And if you look at the box, it's got that brown elephant print uh, all around it. It's pretty, pretty unique. I, I honestly, it's hard to miss a box like this in your collection. So you, so you already know which one. Uh, you know, this box belongs to just by looking at the shelf. Is it worth two hundred ninety dollars? Uh, I probably wouldn't say, especially after seeing like these defects like this. Definitely not worth two hundred ninety Australian dollars, but. Uh, I know there's a lot of um, the colorways out there that are not as good as this one. Uh, this is definitely one of the more interesting ones. Like, <laughs> I don't really go for the other ones that just have like the blue on the midsole, the red on the midsole, the pink or the purple. Like, that's the only change and everything else is white. I don't, I don't really go for those ones. These are ones that I would probably think, think are more worth your money because, yeah, it's a lot more interesting. It's more visual pleasing, in, like in my opinion. But, uh, you know. Let me know what you, your thoughts are. Like, I believe that these are really cool and all this kind of stuff. But, you know, what, what do you guys think? Do you think that they, uh, you know, did a mistake by putting um, uh, orange on the actual upper and on the midsole? What do you think about quality control of Nike? Uh, what are your stories? Have you had any bad stories of uh, Nike 
you know, or any other brand actually, just uh, putting like, you know, just totally disregarding quality control and letting sneakers go pass through um, the quality checks and us uh, actually being sold like this, you know, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, guys, thanks for, once again for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. If you learned something from this video, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, guys, thanks for, once again for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.